on 25th February, NTV Uganda broadcast an investigative special report highlighting the plight of children suffering from nodding syndrome in three districts, Kidgum, Pader, and Omoro over Choli sub-region in northern Uganda. Many could not move unaided, were malnourished, living in poor conditions and staring death in their face. The story touched many who were outraged that government had done little or nothing to save the children. All I feel is absolute frustration. And a government that does not care about its young people does not deserve its future. On Monday morning, Minister of Health Dr. Ruth Chen told journalists at the ministry headquarters in Kampala that the ministry last received any new cases of nodding syndrome six years ago, that is 2012. She said the cases NTV highlighted were of children suffering from epilepsy. Many a times, cases of epilepsy and other conditions that affect the nervous system, like febrile illnesses, inborn abnormalities or autism, have been wrongly labeled as nodding syndrome. But in the NTV story, there were cases of children suffering from nodding syndrome, and some improved years after we first captured their plight, largely due to medication and better feeding. In fact, Deputy Speaker of Parliament Jacob Olanya, who is also the Omoro MP, one of the area's most hit, was concerned that government had not done enough to tackle the nodding disease. The health minister also said government was awaiting a formal handover of nodding syndrome center in Omoro previously run by Hope for Humans, an NGO run by an American citizen. The NGO closed the center because it had run out of funding to buy food and other essentials for the children. And so for us to take over these facilities and send resources there, it needs to be handed over to the district or registered through a non-government organization like the bureaus. Wherever they were, they should be reopened. And that special care created to help these children and their families. Dr. Chen told journalists that government transferred over 1 billion shillings to districts with children suffering from nodding syndrome like Kitgum, Lamoro, Amoro, but there has not been accountability for over 200 million shillings. ...has not been accounted for. However, we, it is difficult for us to balance between taking care of these patients and not send more money. So even as we are pressing forward, to receive these accountabilities. We still know that patients have to be taken care of. The health minister also said government is providing food to children with nodding syndrome in Kitgum district referral hospital through the office of the prime minister. But when NTV visited the hospital about a month ago, the nodding syndrome center had been abandoned. The parents told us that they took away the children because there was no food at the center.